Blue ready, hut. Three star. Go, go. Right starting 24 Indy on Monday. Ready? <laughs> Hello there and welcome to an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. I'm Alan Waddell and over the next half hour we'll take a look at the Lions' tough loss at Nickel State and where Southeastern goes from here into the offseason. But first let me welcome to the show the acting head football coach of the Southeastern Lions, Coach Tommy Condell. Coach, thanks for being here. Uh, tough loss this past weekend at Nichols down uh, in Thibodeau. Yeah, you know you always want to finish the year uh, on a win. You always want to do that. Uh, but the young men that went down there. Uh, we traveled with 40, uh, I think 43 players and, and those guys got after it uh, and, and didn't give up. And we ended up being just a touchdown short, uh, but be in position to tie it right at the end of the game. And, and unfortunately, we didn't get that done for those seniors. It was 35 to seven. You make a ferocious rally, make it 35, 28. Uh, once again, this ball club, ball club responds when they have some adversity. That and, you know, we, we know we're powerful enough and explosive enough on offense to be able to uh, score points. But, and, and we had a feeling that, you know, when you run that to offense, uh, that they do the triple option, there's going to be some uh, uh, fumbles that occur. And, and defensively, we did a wonderful job of scoring on one, putting us in position to score another. All right, coach, let's take our first break. When we come back, we'll break down the first half highlights against Nichols. You're watching an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. The official. <laughs> Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football presented by the Southeastern Student Government Association and North Oaks Health System. It was a one o'clock kickoff in Thibodeau as the Lions battled Nickel State for the River Bell. Let's go out and check out the first half highlights. Coming out in the first half, you know, uh, for that River Bell and excited to go down to Thibodeau. This first play of the ball game, trying to get out there, uh, Andre Cryer out in space to uh, make some things happen, and he does, gets us a, a quick first down. Right off the bat, later on, we, you know, we run a a double reverse back to Andre, just to get, uh, again, an explosive player of the ball, getting those yards. Here's a big third down, and, and uncharacteristically, uh, 20, Jay Lucas drops the ball. He had, I want to say he had 50-something catches on the year. So, uh, all right, Ladarius, you know, outstanding return, man. You know, he, he's, he, we did, and I thought Patrick Garvin did a wonderful job of uh, scheming a way to uh, contain him. And here defensively, right off the bat, you had Quentin Pierre and Ryan Godare making those. This triple option, and you can see again Ryan Godare, very productive player for us. Uh, you know, that, that young man is, is a big fullback, and he was, he was difficult to tackle sometimes because there was not a lot of space to be able to tackle him. Uh, but I thought defensively, what we did was, was good. We had to play physical, and we had to continue throughout that game. Here we get a, a, a personal foul. And we have to be, you know, disciplined not to let those the stripes to be able to make that call. You go down here uh, and they give off the dive and they get on the, the scoreboard first. Here's one of our seniors, played all well and is a warrior, Marquise Powell, taking on a defender and getting him out of there and creating it. Here, here's one of the other seniors, Mike Neville, getting up the field. String, there's Tommy Connors, you know, right there. Uh, again, a forced fumble, and we get the ball there. You'd see the, the emotion that we have, ready to get after and go. Offensively, we come right back out, hand it to, uh, you know, Jay, our workhorse, a physical young man. Off that, you know, basically a power play. Come here, come back, throw, a, you know, back to Cole Wardell for that first down. Here, here's... Here's that third, third down, trying to get up to, to Chris Wilson, and uh, we get boxed out and don't get an opportunity to score any points. Don't want to be able to do that. They take over uh, and hit a quick scene. Uh, they end up throwing it in and getting it squeezed in for a touchdown. Doing a good job on it, and, and finally uh, getting a chance to get that turnover by Quentin Pierre, and he had two of them. Did an outstanding job. Came down, we get, we get you know, on the board early, uh, with because of that, you know, Quentin's recovery and return. Come back here, it's Mike Neville's his first, first rushing touchdown of his career, and he gets in uh, on an option ourselves, and uh, now putting that game back into it. 
Turner comes out of there and ices it down and, and gets us our seven. Colonels come back and, and this big gentleman was hard to tackle. Had a couple missed tackles coming through. As you can see, number eight comes down and, and, and puts the series right up there. Um, come out with our, uh, a fake to Jasper and come to the comeback to Chris Wilson out there on first and ten. We get some blitz and we had some good protection right there. We end up getting up there and there's Corey Theodore, uh, a redshirt freshman. Throwing it and uh, giving us the opportunity to move around, uh, make some plays on the run. It's trying to extend the play, but we end up not getting that first down. Defensively, we come out trying to stop it. Uh, calling timeouts to be able to get that football back with only a couple seconds left. Just to get back in the field goal range, we get up the field. There's only a couple, about eight seconds left. Did a great job, offense, defense, and we end up, not, we end up missing the field goal, but I was very pleased with how the offense and defense came together. Uh, we just didn't finish it to be able to get that last field goal and missed an opportunity.